And when it comes to obtaining your data, there are times where you need to set up a study, and there's two types of studies. The first type of study is called an observational study, and this is where nothing has been done that could possibly influence or change the natural outcome. So although you'll be observing, and you still might actually have to take some sort of action for this observation to take place, the important thing, the key, is that you have no influence on the subject's actions. So for example, at the gas station, you watch which grade of gas people buy. So you could have just asked them, but maybe they forgot, or maybe they'd lie to you because maybe their car takes a certain type of gas and they're not buying what they need to buy. So instead, if you just stand back and watch which gas they're buying, you probably didn't do anything to influence which gas they bought, so you're just observing. A second type of study you can do is called an experimental study. And the key to this is that you have some sort of treatment that has been applied. Importantly, you are applying change. So it's best to think of it how somehow you've manipulated a variable to see its influence. Ultimately, the environment has been manipulated or altered one way or another. Now keep in mind, once you do this alteration, you're still going to have to observe, observe sorry, what happens so that you can get your information. But just because you're observing in the second phase does not mean you've changed to an observational study. Like let's look at an example of an experimental study. Before you test participants' eyesight, you have them play a video game. So in this case, you want to find out what their eyesight is, but you've done something that could possibly enhance or harm their eyesight. Maybe the video game made their eyes get tired and they won't test as well. Or maybe the video game was like a warm-up exercise and they'll test better. But keep in mind, if you had tested the eyesight of the person who shows up to buy gas, then that's going to be an observational study because you haven't manipulated the environment. You didn't have any control who showed up. There was no treatments applied. You just tested eyesight. Some people don't feel that's observational because you're physically testing their eyesight. It's the only way to get the data. The question is, once you have this outcome, this data, what did you do something that could have caused that number to go you know, up or down? Um, and when it comes to an observational study, it's always best to have a control group, a group of people or participants who do not receive the treatment, but that may not be possible. If you want to test a uh, cancer-fighting drug, you're not going to apply it to people without cancer because that could be deadly.